Hey guys, welcome to today and welcome to today's video. It's almost Nova's birthday. And with her being almost one, that also means that it's almost been a year since I went through that labor and delivered her. So to commemorate the hard work that that was, I wanted to watch my birth vlog again and just react to it live on camera with you guys. This video is crazy because we filmed it obviously with the intention of sharing with our community but most importantly for us and for memories and everything but we didn't really imagine just how uh, widespread it would get. It is one of the most special videos that we've ever made, of course. I'd say it's probably been like six months since I last watched it, so I mean it's not a full year or anything, but nonetheless we're gonna react to it and yeah, I'm excited. Push, push, push. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good I'm already morning. emotional. So it is currently 1 a.m. and Ayla is in labor, so she is having a lot of contractions right now. We're working through that together and working on her breathing, but uh, we've actually called our doula and she's going to start making her way here. I'm going to run a bath and get Ayla in there just so that she can get relaxed and take it easy. And then we will uh, probably talk to our midwife as well and see what she thinks so far. Oh, look at that belly. <laughs> Oh, I look like I'm in pain. I had the TENS machine on my back and that was my like button so that I could uh, start it and I would do that with contractions and that was probably one of the biggest ways of why I was able to labor naturally for so long. I just like focused on the TENS machine and that really helped. He's calling our midwife. So Ayla is currently having some contractions. She did start off about let's say 9 30 till I, about midnight she i felt was like having, i was gonna puke that's um, why there's every the, three to uh, four minutes for boulder. about 45 seconds roughly she's probably closer to going for about a minute to a minute 15 in length and she says they're all of a sudden not really um not much of a break in between not much of a break you have right okay good yeah Oh, my midwife was the best. She was one of my favorite people in the world. Both of them, they were just so good. I remember in this moment thinking, she better not tell me I'm not in labor. Man, contractions are intense. They are intense. Well, oh, there's me in the bath. Oh, look at that belly. Oh, I'm getting another one. Okay, I need you. Me too. <laughs> oh, Caleb is such a Inhale, good supporter. Long exhale. <laughs> Give me your strength. <laughs> Just shut up. That's <laughs> what Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, the music just like. together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. The bath was really good, but I could only handle it for a short amount of time. I was getting uncomfortable because of like my back and stuff. Oh, this is so beautiful. You can see Caleb like breathing with me. I feel like I look at him like, oh, you're doing so good. You're amazing. Oh. <laughs> So, um, we just <laughs> did the bath and Ayla got out of there. 2.30am, um, oh my gosh. Arrived now. Right There's now, Ellie the whining. Are still, I think um, she, she was really, really quickly and, uh, being uh, weird the whole night. She definitely knew something was up. Not much uh, space in between them. So I think we would feel good if you were able to come. I think we would and, feel uh, good if you could then, come. We can go from there. <laughs> we're All such polite people. We don't like, like... We're like, if it's not an inconvenience to you. Oh, that's my doula, Kayla. 5 a.m. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna pause. So I labored the whole night naturally, like um, just at home. And I had originally hoped that I would do a natural, unmedicated birth at the birth center. And that was my plan. And of course, I knew going into it that it could be flipped upside down and I was open to whatever was gonna happen. But I wanted to like... I really wanted to try for that and so 
uh, my contractions were intense they were on top of each other i didn't get breaks in between they were really weird they would come one after the other so i would go through the peak and come down and then i'd have one second until it would come back up and so that really just wore me down so much because i would feel like so empowered and like i was managing that contraction so well like with the ball and the tens machine and with my doula and everything be looking forward to coming back down and getting that rest to build up your energy and i just wasn't getting that rest it was just constant 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 and so i got worn down really fast they were so good they knew that i really wanted to try my best so they said okay we're gonna we're gonna get through this contraction then we'll talk about it and they kept like encouraging me to get through the next one the next one and then i made it like several more hours because of that uh and i was really hopeful that i would go all the way but uh yeah we'll just keep watching and then i'll <laughs> i'll explain some more i had to like sway a lot and like lean up against things Aww. caleb's taking me to the bathroom to help me pee right now <laughs> at this point i've been laboring for 10 and a half hours with contractions that were tripping on top of each other I was getting exhausted because I hadn't been getting any breaks in between contractions. Midwife came to check me again and I had only progressed to four centimeters. Okay, really quick. Going all night long with on top contractions and only being four centimeters is like <laughs> devastating. I like the whole time I'm like, I have to be at like an eight, I have to be at, but no, not even. Talked about my options, I decided that I need a bit of help to keep me going. So things have made a bit of a change. 8 a.m. now. We're actually going to be loading everything into the car right now. You can hear and me in the background moaning. To the hospital. So Hale has been in labor for quite a while. This whole time I was so irritated. I was like, so you need to just right get me in the car now. I was like yelling at him <laughs> in between <laughs> filming. We're about to hit the road. She's actually he was taking so long right to get his shoes She's on, that's why. It's like, just put them on. Longest contractions ever. You're doing so good, sweetie. I still have my tens machine. You're my champ. Okay, we're gonna go meet this sweet girl. Oh, Are that's so crazy to think that I didn't know yeah. Nova yet. Like she was there, but I hadn't like gotten to know her Let me yet. Help you to the car, okay? That's wild. So Ayla and I have now checked into the hospital. Okay, pause real quick. Up. The drive from our house to the hospital is so long okay it's 45 minutes and it felt like a freaking eternity because in the car i didn't get even one second between contractions they just went phew, 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 phew. i think because i was like getting stressed and really emotional and like i wasn't relaxed and then that between like being in the car and like you're uncomfortable because you have the seatbelt on and in this sitting position where normally i wanted to be like leaning over something or like swaying and i had to stay so it was misery. Like the roads were all bumpy and I was just like, <laughs> it was so hard. So when we finally parked, Caleb tried to like park in the parking lot, which is further and you have to walk. I was like, you do not park in that part. We're going to the front door. I was like, no way. And even then, um, yeah, I could barely even make it through the door. We, I had to stop like several times in the hospital hallways. They have like these bars along the, uh, hallways I was I delivered at Rocky View if you're from Calgary area and they have like these bars so you can like hold on it's like literally made for pregnant women coming in through labor and I had to stop uh, a couple times Ayla's just currently oh, our room with going the through purple dots um, she has an IV and, and uh, basically her biggest pain management at this point has been um, using the TENS machine and so um, right now we're just waiting until she actually will get the epidural. So this epidural. is before I got so the epidural. She's a trooper. She's hanging in there. Yeah. Are you doing okay? Mm. Mm. Oh, this was a hard yeah, point. Yeah, it's been tough. I was just I'm like so waiting for the anesthesiologist to come in. I was so desperate for him to come. <laughs> a note on the epidural. It was way less scary than I thought it was. I was so afraid of it, like the whole pregnancy because it's this big needle and it's just so scary and stuff but honestly you're in that when you're in that moment and you're dealing with those contractions and you need some relief or you need some help like if that's what you are choosing to do like 
it doesn't even matter. I was literally like, okay, go, go for it. I'm ready. Like I was like <laughs> leaned over. The scariest part for me was that I would have an intense contraction while he was putting the needle in. Um, but he was so good. He was like, just tell me if he, if, if one's coming on, like, and then we kind of timed it so that it was when I had, um, when I wasn't as intense. So it worked out. Okay. So Ayla, how are you now? Much more relaxed. Craziest hair ever, so but super her. relaxed. <laughs> what did you just have done? I did get an epidural. The way I said that, I did get an epidural. I was disappointed. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. I just really had hoped that I would be able to do unmedicated. And in that moment, I was a bit disappointed. But as time went on, that quickly faded. I felt like this was what I needed to do. And when you uh, deal with the afterbirth that I had, I knew that that was definitely the right decision. So you can see it in my face though. I did. Yeah. And I do feel better, so hopefully yeah. that's good. You can hear her heartbeat okay in the background. Shortly after getting my epidural, I was six centimeters and I was on a base. Two hours later, I still hadn't progressed, and so my midwife broke my water, bringing me to eat. And the longest day. The best day, though. Oh, I look so much better. I got to do my makeup. <laughs> And then I was able, I have what's called a walking epidural, so I still had feeling in my legs, like it wasn't just completely done for. So I was able to try different positions, which was really important to me. So the one I'm in right here, um, up against the bed, was to hope to get gravity to kind of help bring Nova down and engage. Aww. Hey. Waiting 4 25 p.m. centimeters so that we can push this baby out. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm pretty calm right now, which is good. Not for really yet. calm, but yeah, it's been nice. We've just been like chatting, <laughs> laughing, and having a good time, so it's setting the tone really nice. And it has been moving around into different positions, just yeah, trying. Don't show to... my booty. <laughs> don't show my booty. <laughs> Like, as I see him walking further back with the camera, I'm like, because <laughs> you know those gowns are like open, and I was nervous. That's and she's so just funny. been trying to do what she can to get Nova well, ready crazy to here. basically come out and meet us, and yeah. we just really want her to join us in this world. I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna be like a sobby mess or if I'm gonna be sobby. just in shock. I'm really curious to see I'll what I'll a, do. I'll be a sobby mess. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We have this footage. Oh, that's so special. Wow. Last moments with my big belly. Aw, oh, Caleb. We had our diffuser going. Okay, before we get into the pushing, so um, after I got my epidural, there was so much more relief. I would still feel the contractions, but they just weren't like the intense um, contractions that I was having before. But it was so beautiful because we just had such a great relationship with our midwives and our doula that we just had like this little party in our tiny little room. Just the whole, that whole day there leading up to giving birth was one of the most beautiful days of my life in that we were just laughing and joking together. It was just beautiful. Okay start pushing at 6 p.m. So it's almost 24 hours since my contractions had started at this point. Oh yeah, using that like pulley thing was good. I did that for a while. I had this bucket because I kept um, like dry heaving. I don't know why. The nerves or just like the anticipation, I don't know what it was. Maybe all the intensity was just like, I just wanted to throw up. I never did though, actually. I kept apologizing to the midwives because I kept burping. I had so much like gas buildup and I kept burping like nonstop during pushing. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And they were just laughing because like, obviously like, what am I gonna do? I'm pushing a human out. I can't help myself. So it was just so funny. I was so worried about so many things, but burping during pushing was not something that I expected. <laughs> And you can see I have the ultrasound picture of Nova there. Come on, contraction, I'm ready for you. <laughs> I'm so funny when I'm like under pressure. That thing on the, on my head is a washcloth because they were cooling me down. Oh, okay, 
Oh, here we go. Oh, she push push. Congratulations. Oh, oh we're a little cry. to like oh. oh my gosh oh you're crying your newborn crying oh. oh do you hear that you're amazing she's the midwives were so good I'm a sorry <laughs> oh look at how little Oh, I just could not contain myself. Oh, it's just so real. Oh, it's just Oh my gosh. How has it been a year? Oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. And I'll just guard the Oh, she's so cute. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. Okay, pause. Part of me, like even though we did a gender reveal, part of me was still like a little nervous that she would come out a boy because you hear those stories. So once they confirmed she was a girl, I was like, oh, thank gosh, because I mean, her room has pink, so. Definitely a girl, huh? <laughs> You're really pink. <laughs> yeah. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at Caleb's face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no kidding, girl. Oh, I cannot believe we have this on film. I cannot believe 1.6 million people have seen me <laughs> give birth. <laughs> like my like body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh, that feeling that I had holding her was like. I didn't stop crying until like 10 feet. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. I need to give her a kiss. Oh. oh my gosh. The emotions that we had in that moment were just immense. Oh. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> Little tiny hands. Oh my gosh, she's perfect. So, this scene right here where I look so tired and I'm breastfeeding, that was actually after my postpartum, my hemorrhage, retained placenta. Scary nightmare. And that's why I look so flippin' exhausted because I'm still like um, coming out of all the intensity of everything and the drugs and stuff um, but that was my first time nursing her and that was oh, actually like at least an hour after she was born because I they were working on me for so long but still really special because it was my first time nursing her give me love, give me all your love. 
Oh, look at that tiny little Bubba. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so perfect. Give me all your love. Give me all your love. Oh, my Nova. Oh, she's so cute. Our greatest adventure is you. I can't believe that that was me. <laughs> wow. I really cried too. That was so beautiful. I am so thankful that we have this footage. Like I get to watch this over and over again for the rest of my life if I want to. So my birth, my labor was hard. Like it was not easy, but it was like the best day of my entire life for sure. Having her in my arms finally was like the most perfect moment. Wow, so emotional. <laughs> Okay, that's my reaction. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing that and getting a little bit of behind the scenes uh, with my commentary. The best day ever. I cannot believe it's almost her birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting us this past year with Nova and with being parents, figuring out this whole parenting journey. I'm just so grateful that I get to watch this over and over and over again. Uh, every birthday, I'll probably do it just to like remind myself of how amazing that day was. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.